Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to learn how to fix a split Fusion Drive. Now Fusion Drive is an Apple Drive that's been split between a hard drive and a flash drive or SSD and Apple combines those together to be one single drive. They're often shipped on iMacs, some of the, uh, the newer iMacs. Now sometimes they can be split apart so in your system it'll end up looking like two separate drives, an SSD and a hard drive. And when that happens it can happen from a problem during formatting or it can also happen if your computer crashes in a certain way and so on. So we need to uh, combine those together. So there's a couple of ways to do it. One way that's a little bit more difficult if you have High Sierra or earlier, and one way that's a little bit easier if you have um, Mojave or later. Now often when the drive has been split like that, you can't boot from your computer and you probably lost your data. So hopefully you have a good time machine backup. Now, in this case, we have a computer here um, that has a split hard drive. And what we've done is booted in target disk mode and attached it by Firewire or Thunderbolt uh, to another computer. So in this case, you don't see the computer's drives on here anymore. So what we need to do is bring up disk utility. So either you're gonna have to boot from another computer, like we say, or from a USB, a bootable USB key to get that back. Now the first thing to do is open disk utility. So you can get it in your utilities folder or by typing into the spotlight search. And now if you look here, we see the first two drives. And then now we see these two drives here. We've got the hard drive and the SSD drive that appear in disk utility. So you can see how it's been kind of split out. So in this particular computer, it's running uh, Yosemite, but this will work all the way up to High Sierra, this uh, technique. But I'll briefly show you the uh, technique that you use for Mojave as well. So it should be useful for you and it's much easier in Mojave. So what we need to do now is open up the terminal. So that's in your utilities folder as well, or you can open it here from the spotlight search. Just type in terminal and click on it and it will open. Now in terminal, we're gonna use some commands and I'll put them in the description below. If you wanna find terminal from the utilities folder, you open a new finder window, go to your applications, and then you scroll right down to the bottom and find the utilities folder. Inside there is the terminal application as well as the disk utility application. So you can open them up from there. Now if you have the Mojave operating system or later, then your luck, the command is much easier and it's easier to uh, fix a split fusion drive. When you're in terminal, just type in the following command. First type in disk util, that's all one word, and then the space, and reset fusion with a capital F all put together. So you can refer to this back down in the description below. Just hit enter and it'll ask you to confirm, you just say yes. Now remember that's for Mojave or later. This computer is Yosemite. So for computers that are High Sierra or earlier, there's sort of a, a longer technique that we'd need to go through here. But if you have Mojave, that's really just the two steps and then uh, it should repair your drive for you. Let's zoom in on the terminal a little bit so we can see the commands that you're gonna to need to use for High Sierra and earlier. So first type in disk util space list and you'll get a list of all the drives that are attached to the computer, whether they're uh, formatted or not. And what we need to do is define which drive is the fusion drive or the two pieces of the fusion drive. So you need to look for the drive that is um, usually one that doesn't have a name. So we see our second, our last two drives at the bottom of the screen here, disk three and disk four don't have names. One is 121.3 gigabytes and that one will be the SSD drive and the other is 1.0 terabytes. And that will uh, be the main hard drive itself. So disk three and disk four, those are the two that we need to combine together to be the one fusion drive. The drives that we have at the top, disk zero and disk one, those are the two hard drives on the computer that we booted from. So don't get confused here as to which drive is which. So you see here, this one here, that one's one of the internal drives. 
but this one here is the SSD drive. And this one is the one terabyte hard drive. So type in the following command, disk util space cs space create and now you're going to pick a name for your drive. Make it a, a simple one word name uh, because spaces can be a pain to type in. Uh, if you want to use a space, just use an underscore for now. So in this case, I'm creating a drive. I'm going to call it server underscore backup. But you could call it anything. Call it Macintosh or call it drive or HD, something like that. And space. Then disk three. So we're picking disk three as one of the two drives we're combining. And space. Then disk four. So disk four is the second drive that we're combining. So we want to combine these two together to be the new fusion drive. Then hit return and it will process for you. So you'll get a little bit of a status uh, here on how complete it is. 0, 10, 20, 30%, all the way up to 100%. So depending on the size of your drive, it could take a little bit uh, shorter or longer, but it's actually a fairly quick process uh, most of the time. All right, so the process is complete. So we've combined it together, but now we actually have to create a volume that we can um, see on the desktop. So we're gonna type in diskutil space CS space list. So then you get a list of all the volumes what they call the logical volumes or volumes on the on the computer. So I'm going to just zoom out here so you can kind of see all the volumes here. Now typically the last one will be the one that uh, is the one that you just created. But here we can see the, our original one which is the Macintosh HD um, and so on. Now if we scroll back down we'll find the one that we just named. So we called it server underscore backup and we're going to need the uh, volume number for this final command. So just be sure when you're scroll scrolling through that you're, you're picking the correct one. And you can actually see right here at the bottom uh, the two drives that make up that volume. So disk 3 and disk 4 make up the volume. So if we zoom in here, we can see uh, the actual logical volume group. So that's the number that we need to pick for this next command. So find the logical volume group uh, for the volume you just created, the drive we created. So here's the number here. So you can just select it in your terminal and then copy that. That way you don't have to type out the, uh, the whole thing. And then enter the following command. Type in diskutil space CS create volume with a capital V and make sure create volumes all together one word with a capital V space and then just paste in the actual logical volume group number here. So like I said just select it, copy it and then paste it. After it's pasted in you're not quite done yet we have a few more things to type in. Type in J H F S plus space server underscore backup, which is the name we want to give it. So you could call it again, anything you want, Macintosh or HD, something like that. And then, then put a space and type in 100%. From here we can hit return and it should create the volume for us. Here we go, we get a bit of a status here. It's fairly quick. Great, the volume has been created. And your time machine will usually pop up and ask if you want it to become a, a time machine disk. In this case, we don't, so I'm gonna click don't use. And now the volume will appear on our desktop. If you see over in the corner, uh, we have that orange volume because it's connected by, in this case, Thunderbolt. Uh, server backup, it's sitting right here. So we have combined our drive um, our SSD drive and our hard drive back into a single fusion drive. So it's uh, up and running ready and uh, now we can load an operating system on it. So if you open up uh, disk utility, you can kind of examine it a little bit further. 
So in this case, it's uh, Yosemite, so you, it's an older version of DisuTube, but this will work in any of the new operating systems as well. So we have our drive and our volume server back up here. So you could reformat it, or rename it if you need to. You could run first aid on there. You could repartition it if you want to have more than a single partition. The drive is, drive is fully useful. Uh, and also you'll probably, if it's your startup drive, you're gonna to want to load an operating system on it. But your drive should be 100% combined and ready for use. Well, I hope this video helped you to fix your split Fusion hard drive. And if it did, please hit the thumbs up button to like the video and share it with your friends, anybody who's having a hard drive problem with their uh, Fusion drive. And subscribe. We have lots more tips and tricks coming out regularly for your Apple products. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.